Hey everyone! Just wanted to wrap up this year with some general thoughts I've had in the last weeks. First, thanks to all my viewers and welcome to all my new subscribers. My channel has grown with 12,000 subscribers this year and that growth alone is like 100 times more people than I thought I would get in total. I had no idea that a channel within the space of industrial automation would be interesting. Thank you everyone that subscribes, comments and that also supports me here or on Patreon. Next, I've noticed that a lot of things are changing in the space of industrial automation. I don't think it's just a feeling, as I see more and more companies popping up that look into how we can adopt software development practices, processes and tools within the OT space. There are three companies and products that I want to mention specifically. Number one is Loop, open sourcing their libraries and framework software. Number two is Beckoff, showcasing DevOps. And number three is Siemens and Symmetic AX. Firstly, just a few weeks ago, the company Loop open sourced all their internal development libraries and frameworks. Yep, you heard that correct. The base for the software that Loop has developed to make custom solutions for their clients is open sourced and can freely be downloaded by anyone. Open sourcing software is an extremely rare thing to do in the field of industrial automation, something that I have criticized the whole industry about in other videos. Loop are now joining the club with a few other companies like MTS Slovakia and their TC Open framework for Twinket, and I wanna give them my hats off for doing this. You have a link for both of these companies and their repos in the video description below. While at the topic of this, I wanna mention that Loop have created a fantastic community for us people that want to apply software engineering practices within the field of industrial automation. I highly recommend you to check that out too. Next on my list is something I saw while visiting SPS Messe in Nuremberg this November. Beckoff Automation had a stand that showcased the concept of DevOps. Now for anyone that have been following here or on my blog, the concept of DevOps shouldn't be new for you. DevOps is a methodology for automating work of software development and IT operations. This is not something that is only for IT companies, but could and is being done for PLC software and machines as well. What was however new was that it was the first time, as far as I'm aware of at least, that Beckhoff themselves had publicly shown the whys and hows of doing DevOps using Twinkle software. Beckhoff have most likely been aware of the fact that this is already done in the industry. Now it seems that there is a critical mass doing DevOps in the OT world that Beckhoff thought it was worth its own stand at the fair. Very nice demo by Beckhoff, thank you Daniel at Beckhoff for the great demo. I'll be making videos about this here on my YouTube. The final thing on my list is something very interesting, which is Semantic AX from Siemens, which is a development environment based on Visual Studio Code. They seem to take off everything you would expect in a development environment today. Native version control system integration directly in the IDE, text-based code without any annoying markup, an unit testing framework, command line interface, a great package manager, a development environment that's light and snappy and not over bloated. The funny thing is that Siemens is probably the last company on this planet I expected to do something like this. Maybe the last company after Rockwell Automation. But this is really happening and Siemens seem to be really serious about it. Meeting the people behind Semantic AX at the various industrial fairs gets me the impression that there is a team behind this that is very motivated and that knows what they are doing is important. There is unfortunately not that much information about Semantic AX publicly available, and Siemens being Siemens also means that there is no free public beta or anything available. I hope more information will soon be available and maybe even a public free version at some point. Time will tell. I'd love to make some videos about the Semantic AX. Next year I'll continue making content and as previously, focus will be on Beckhoff and Twinkat training, but sometimes I will make some videos that are on more general topics. As always, quality will always have priority over quantity. What are some of the exciting things that you think have happened in the field of industrial automation this year? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year and Happy Coding!